good is it so windy? Hello, Stevies. Happy Fury Friday! Oh, man. Two in a row. For those of you that don't know, Miss Stevie is going to the world record poker run. What is the world record poker run, you may ask? Well, I will tell you. It is a poker run that the Badgers from down in Florida are putting on. It is going from, oh, there's neutral. It is going from the Tampa Bay, Florida area, which actually I believe is Port Charlotte at Burt's Harley, Burt's Black Widow Harley Davidson, I believe is where they're actually starting at. And they are going to go from there to Sturgis. And they have to do 3,200 miles. Well, I know it's not 3,200 miles from Tampa, Florida to Sturgis. Well, it is the way that they're going because they're going to go. I didn't want you to try, Siri. Senna. I guess that was a Senna messing up. Um, so, yeah, so they are going for the way they're going. So they're going up. First stop is in Columbus, Georgia at john maxwell's shop maxwell's motorcycles they'll have a little party there i guess that night and then the next day they take off and they they head west and they end up in i think little rock arkansas and then um i should have it in front of me i need a phone holder for this bike hold my phone to keep notes um they're ending up in eureka springs and then they're going to end up over in New Mexico, I think. And then they're going to go up through. I'm just going to shut you off is what I'm going to do. Uh, and then they're going to go up through Colorado. They're going to ride the, the million dollar highway. And then they're going to go up uh, over by Denver. And then up to Cheyenne where the Cheyenne Harley dealer. I can't think of the name of it right now. The Cheyenne Harley dealer is throwing them a big party. And then boom, on up into Sturgis the next day. 3,200 miles. It will be a Guinness Book of World Record thing. Now, we have been raising money for veterans to go on this for free. Now, the way you can donate to that is you can go to supportbikers.com slash veterans. And you can do that. Now, the way you sign up for the poker run is, uh, I think you can get it through there somehow, but worldrecordpokerrun.com is where you sign up for that. It's $175 for a person. If you're going to ride two up, it's $200. Bucks. Come on, $200 bucks for an eight-day poker run. That's awesome. I wish I could go, but I can't. But Steve is going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So when I say we're sending veterans on this trip for free, that is exactly what we're doing. We're paying for your gas. We're paying for your hotels. We're paying for your food to get to Sturgis. This trip is 100% free for veterans. How many veterans? We don't know yet because you can still donate till May 5th. So Miss Stevie's bike, her deluxe, will be shipped to Florida at the end of June, I believe. So that means all the way through the month of July, you guys will have her riding the Honda Fury the whole time. That's going to be her only bike. So we will have a bunch of Fury videos then. But now this was Miss Stevie's first bike, her first bike ever. This is it. And she had to keep it. And I, you know, I, I told her, you know, hey, we need, we need to just keep this bike when she, when she thought she wanted something else. She wanted something with a bigger tank. This has got like a 3.7 gallon tank. She wanted something with a little bit bigger tank and she wanted something with bags on it. And we didn't want to completely change the look of this bike by putting bags on it and all that stuff, right? So we left it the way it is, sort of. We have customized it quite a bit. <laughs> but this was her first bike. And this was an excellent first bike for her to learn on. It's really, really low to the ground. It is really, really low balance. The center of gravity is really low. There was a couple times that she would have dropped this bike had the center of gravity been so not been so low if she would have had her deluxe or if she would have been on my road king or something like that she would have dropped the bike but since this one is is so light up top and the, the center of gravity is low like i've said a thousand times already she was able to hold it up another nice thing about it is that it was cheap it was cheaper i mean we paid we paid just a little bit over five thousand dollars for this bike 
I mean, I don't know. You can't touch a Harley for that. So we, we got her this instead, and she absolutely fell in love with it. I fell in love with it as well. And to the point that uh, when she got her new bike and I had the opportunity, I thought, man, I'm going to, we're going to do some things to that bike that will make it like super cool, right? We didn't get everything done. There's still some things we want to do. I'm not going to tell you what they are. A lot of people have said that you should do this and that and this and that. And I'm like, yeah, that's in the, that's in the plan, but didn't get to it. But so we powder coated the wheels white. We team modded the rear fender. We powder coated the exhaust black. I put a new horn on it too that it is like super loud, but it's really cool. It's got white on it and stuff. It matches the bike. Um, like I said, we were going to do a lot more to it, but the, the winter here in old Nebraska got really cold this year. And Stevie Todd said, no problem, I'll just heat my shop. But I was like, nah, I don't, I don't want you to heat your shop 70 degrees so we can still be cold in it and work on the bike. No, we're not going to do that. So we waited until the weekends were nice and then we did what we could. We waited two months for powder coat. That was, you know, so we took it apart and then two months later we got the powder coat back. But when we got the powder coat back, we were on vacation in New Mexico. So this was her first bike. It was awesome first bike. For those of you out there considering it as a first bike, I wouldn't be afraid of it. I wouldn't be scared of anything. The motors run awesome. They run really smooth. They're a dream going down the highway like this because they're so long, you know? And they're light enough that, I mean, they're still really maneuverable, you know? So don't be scared of it. If you find something else that you think would be better, then yeah, buy that. But this bike is, is awesome for those that want to buy one bike. You know, they want to buy the bike to learn on and then they want to keep it. Well, that's what this is. I've never gone long distance on this bike. I've always planned on it, but I've never gotten around to it. But hopefully this year I will. I'll take a little bit of a longer trip on it. Maybe do like half an iron butt or something like that. 